Liverpool are planning to offer Mohamed Salah a new contract in a bid to stave off interest from Saudi Arabia, but there is uncertainty over the long-term future of Luis Diaz. Salah, 31, signed a new three-year contract with the Reds back in the summer of 2022, but will have just 12 months remaining on said deal at the end of the current campaign. The Egypt international has sustained his fine form for Liverpool this term, and as such, has plenty of suitors outside of the Premier League. Ambitious clubs from the Saudi Pro League have been linked with Salah for months and would jump at the chance to bring one of England's top players to the Gulf state. al Ittihad had a huge £150 million bid knocked back in the summer and others are expected to bid in the coming months, but Liverpool have no plans to cash in on their talisman. A new report from The Sun has outlined that Liverpool want to keep Salah, however, others could depart if he can be persuaded to sign another deal. It is alleged that the Reds would be receptive to offers for Diaz, who is of interest to clubs in Spain. The Colombia International, 27, endured a slow start to the season, but his form has picked up in recent weeks. Diaz has contributed three goals and three assists in his last five Premier League games to help Liverpool consolidate their spot at the top of the table. While Diaz is a player who could reportedly move on, it is outlined that Liverpool's next manager and new sporting director will be tasked with getting three of the club's most important players to sign new contracts. Retaining the services of Salah, Trent Alexander-Arnold and club captain Virgil van Dijk will be seen as a top priority for whoever succeeds Klopp, who will stand down at the end of the season. Van Dijk admitted back in January that he was none the wiser as to whether or not he will play a significant role in the post-Klopp era. His current deal, like Salah's, has 18 months left to run. That is correct, good maths, he told reporters when his contract details were put to him. Listen, I don't know. The club will have a big job on their hands, that is well known. To replace the manager and replace not only the manager, the staff is leaving, and there are so many things that will change. So the club has a big job on its hands and I am very curious which direction that will go in. But when that will be announced, we will see our situation, I can't say now. For those on the outside, Liverpool's season has been split into two distinct chapters, before and after Jurgen Klopp shocked the football world by announcing he would be leaving the club at the end of the campaign. It has been easy and automatic to frame everything since that landscape-shifting news as an ode to a remarkable manager, a team determined to ensure he exits drenched in champagne and bordered by silverware. While Liverpool's squad are subscribed to giving Klopp the send-off his transformative tenure deserves, successfully starting with the Carabao Cup, the truth is more mundane and less for the plot. In a lounge overlooking the pitches at the club's expansive training facility, Cody Gakpo tells Sky Sports News the smell of trophies was in the air long before the manager's announcement. When the season started we did well at the beginning, and we already felt this could be a special one, the Netherlands International said. He flagged one moment in particular. Newcastle away, we got a red card and still managed to win the game, he said. In moments like that, you get the mentality building in the group that something special could happen. So we said to each other don't look ahead, keep focused, keep working really hard and do what we always do. We knew it was going to get tough, we're going to have some obstacles, we have them now with the injuries, but we always try to stick together and keep moving forward. It seems really special from the outside, I can imagine. From the inside, with the youngsters coming through, it is, but we're really focused and not looking at it like that. It is remarkable that a team that thrives on emotional connection can also be so surgical. That was best summed up by the squad's reaction when Klopp gathered them together to break his personal news ahead of their FA Cup fourth round win over Norwich, shortly before it was publicly shared with the world. The German later said he was impressed with the professional way his players handled it. Like it was just an announcement. Gakpo credits the mentality of the manager and so the team that they went straight back to business. The forward admits to a shock moment when he got us all together and told us he was leaving at the end of the season. It's human to have that feeling. When you see what the manager did all those years for the club, it's amazing. But we also knew we were in a good moment and we have to be focused to win games and that's what we are. 
Despite a double-digit injury list, Liverpool have one trophy boxed off, two more in sight and are perched to top the league with eight of their academy graduates coming up trumps in the Carabao Cup final and to secure a spot in the FA Cup quarterfinals against Manchester United. What is the secret? One of Klopp's specialities is giving us that belief we can do it, even though we're having a tough time with injuries, without us having some really good players that are really important for the team, Gakpo said. We have managed through the situation, that's because of the young players who have come in, the manager, his staff and the fans, the togetherness, this total picture, it gets us through. That unity and strength was evident at Wembley, where a thundering chorus of Alez, Alez, Alez seemed to help stunt Chelsea and sweep Liverpool to glory. The fans were amazing during the final, Gakpo beamed. They are always amazing but during the final they were there when it was really hard. Extra time is tough, both teams are tired. I wasn't on the pitch but you're trying to find energy from some places and then you hear the fans singing, it gives you energy by itself. We scored the winner and after we sang you'll never walk alone with them, those are really special moments. Was it better than Gakpo could have imagined when he agreed T?